Please pray with me. Dear Lord, I just thank you that we can all be here this morning. Um, I thank you for the scripture we just heard and for the songs we've sung. Um, please just open everyone's heart to what you want them to hear this morning, Lord, and um, help the rest of the week go great for everybody. We pray this in your special name. Amen. Good morning. For all of you don't, who don't know me, my name is Kara Roberts. Um, I'm a sophomore, and um, the first, how I'd like to start out talking to you is um, by rereading the verse that we just heard, but this time I'll read it in the New Living Translation. This is Ecclesiastes 4.11. And on a cold night, two under the same blanket can gain warmth from each other, but how can one be warm alone? When I first read that verse, I automatically had a very potent memory. Um, about three summers ago, I went to a summer camp I'd been to before in California called Yosemite Sierra Summer Camp. One of the many exciting things you get to do at that camp is go on a two-night backpack trip out to a beautiful lake in the Sierras. That year, we hiked to a lake called Chain Lake, but I had no idea what I was getting myself into. When I was growing up, I would go camping pretty much every summer with my family, so I was used to a couple mosquitoes. You know, you have to wear repellent, maybe get a couple bites, they itch. It's, it's not, it wasn't a big deal. I had never seen mosquitoes like I had experienced them on that backpack trip that summer. There were literally like swarms of them. When we were hiking up to the lake, we had to continually be, you know, batting them off and keeping them away from us. Um, by the end of the trip, my friend Grace, her legs, I swear, every inch of her legs were covered in bites. It looked like she had a skin disease or something. Not very fun, right? But it actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise because once we got to the lake to keep protected from the mosquitoes, we took all our sleeping bags and arranged them in a, like in a star. So all our heads were together in the middle. And then we took a blanket the same friend Grace brought and we put it over all our heads. So that way we created kind of like a little tent to protect ourselves from the mosquitoes. And that turned out to be such a blessing because we just got a chance to talk. And we, we laughed and told stories and were silly. But we also just really opened up to each other about our lives and what's going on and, and about our faith. And we got to talk about God. And it was an amazing experience. So like this verse talks about how um, someone else can keep you warm on a cold night. The warmth in my story was this love, support, and companionship I found from my friends under that blanket. Um, so I'd like you to keep that image of the blanket and what it represents to me in mind while, while I'm going to kind of switch subjects on you for a second. Um, when you look around in the world, there's a common attitude I see everywhere, and that is called individualism. The dictionary definition of individualism is the habit or, or principle of being independent and self-reliant. Sound like anybody you know? I mean, a, a, everybody has this attitude of, I can do it myself. I can make myself who I want to be. You know, I can raise myself from my bootstraps and become successful. And, and that is a great thing in a lot of um, situations. But when it comes to faith, that is not a good thing. That is actually pretty scary. Because in your walk with Christ, it is very normal and extremely common to have questions and doubts and have issues in your life that make you question your faith. And if you're just trying to deal with those things by yourself, that can be really, really hard. That's where it becomes really important to have a support group of people who love you and care about you and will listen to you and help you with your problems. So the first thing I want to leave you with here today is if you're not already involved and you don't already have that support group, try to find one. Um, St. Mark offers amazing opportunities for getting involved. You can join a small group or go to gem nights or you can join a Sunday school class. There are definitely opportunities for you to find people who will love you and support you. Um, the second thing I want to leave you with is if you're under a blanket, 
um, staying warm. It's not just you being warm from their warmth, right? Like you're donating your warmth to keep them warm too. So being in community has just as much to do with helping other people and supporting other people and the people around you as it does you being supported yourself. So that's also kind of getting away from that individualism I was talking about and, and thinking about people around you and what they need and how you can help them. So don't be, a, don't be afraid to crawl under a blanket with others for support and love because that love is just a little piece of the everlasting love that God has for us.